do you know about any in pandas data frame how it works and how what is the use of any in pandas data frame if not you learn in these tutorials all right let's get started uh the the any method returns one value for each column true if any value in that column is true so uh any method uh does return returns one value for uh for each column true if any value in that column is true if at least one value in that column is true so th this is a general syntax for uh, any method in data frame the data frame uh, dots any and there are uh, arguments in this in this method axis represents the columns and rows uh, in this case the axis is zero the default is uh, axis is zero bool uh, only uh, the default is none or true or false if true that is uh, returns only uh, true columns if uh, all the va uh, values in that column is true all elements in that column is true otherwise uh, false uh, and if the bool only is false that returns all elements in that column or in that row is true and then i mean uh, false otherwise true and the other uh, argument is uh, skip and a the default is true the default is true which means uh, the uh, skipping none value if there there is uh, non values in that uh, column or row it skips if we uh, specify false in this case it doesn't return the non values all right uh, label and uh, QRGIS are another other arguments in this uh, function. Okay, let's try to see an example. Uh, as you can see here, the data frame is uh, created and defined. The data which contains uh, three columns and two rows, the column one, column two, and column three. So how do you check this? Uh, each value in each row is true. Uh, in this case, uh, let's try to check the data frame. The data frame name is uh, df dot any. Uh, so it returns the pandas uh, traces, which is uh, the columns are in the indexes. The original columns are in the index of the trace and the values which return us from that uh, from each column in the column one which returns true because uh, when when try to checking the columns if at least one value from that column is found so it it, it returns true and uh, checking for the second column in the second column all are uh, false so it returns false so the column uh, two is false. Any value from that column is true, it returns true, otherwise false. And the search column also checking that uh, if there is one element is true in this column, so it returns uh, true. That is a true values. The true value is uh, true or false. All right. So uh, whether each column contains at least one true element in that uh, uh, column, that is a default because the axis is zero. So if the axis is zero, uh, means uh, to check default is zero by default is zero, all, all right. And it reduces the index and the return a series of whose index is the original column levels. So if the axis is zero, by default is uh, zero. If we do not specify the axis, so it returns uh, the original columns are the index of the traces and the values are for that. Uh, uh, and uh, if we specify uh, the axis is one or columns, just uh, reduces, uh, reduces the columns and returns 
the original indexes are indexes of the series uh, of that uh, uh, data frame. All right, what is the use of any in Pandas data frame? Uh, the use of any in Pandas data frame is uh, used to check whether any element is true in that column or row and return is uh, uh, true and potentially over the axis or over an axis of that uh, data frame over the column axis or row axis or index axis. So uh, just checking uh, if there is uh, true, uh, any true uh, element in that column or in that row. So it's it, it gonna check over the rows and columns of the data frame. And if found any true in that uh, column or row, it returns true, otherwise false. That is the use of any method in uh, data frame. How do you aggregating over the columns? How do you ag aggregating over the columns? Which means the axis is one or the axis is columns. All right, let's check. Through, uh, any axis is one. So it reduces the columns and the or returns the original index is the index of the panda uh, stress. So it uh, checks over the rows in this case if the axis is one, which means we reduce the columns and uh, it uh, checks over the rows of each uh, rows in the data frame. From this, the first row, it checks all, uh, there, there are two truths in this case, so it returns true. It returns true. And the second uh, row, all are false, so it does return uh, and one more thing is, it returns one value uh, from each column or row based on the axis of that uh, function. It doesn't return each values of the columns or the rows of the data frame. It returns one value. It returns the truth value of that uh, rows or the columns of that data frame based on the uh, axis we specify, all right. So uh, for example, uh, in this case, if we specify the axis is zero, which means by default is zero, and it returns, it checks over the columns and it returns one value from each column, one value for each columns, and we get three values uh, from three columns. All right, and what about uh, aggregating over the entire data frame with axis none, because we can specify the axis is none through, uh, I mean, one or column. In this case, we can also specify the columns, the axis column. Sorry, spelling error. Yeah, it uh, returns the same result as we returned it in the previous example. All right, let's try to uh, see what will return if the axis is none. If the axis is none, uh, it re reduces all axes over the uh, columns as well as the indexes, and it, it returns one value that is a scalar value. All right, let's try to see any, and we didn't specify uh, which means the axis is none, so it returns true. Why? Because in this case, uh, checks over the entire data frame. And if there is at least one true value in the entire data frame and it returns true uh, result, the result would be true. That is what, because we reduce the axes over the column axis or the row axis. So it returns one value from the entire column uh, data frame if there is at least one true value in that uh, data frame. Otherwise, false. All right, so uh, this uh, any method uh, returns a series of true and false values based on the axis of the uh, uh, method, the uh, data frame. Uh, we specify in that uh, uh, argument. 
if label argument is specified, it gonna return a data frame object itself. And it doesn't, uh, this function doesn't uh, make change to the original data frame. If we, because this is one of the data manipulation techniques. So if we want to check our data frame has at least one true value based on the accesses we specify in that function. So if there is one true value in that data frame, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. And we specified the axis is uh, columns, which is one. It uh, checks the each rows of the data frame and it reduces the columns and returns based on the values of the rows. If there is one, uh, at least one true value in that row, it returns true for that row and uh, otherwise it returns false. This is what the use of any method in data frame. Thanks for watching.